Taz, I shouldn't. This is a brain teaser. I, I literally, I brought you on you here. You fucked to... me up, man. <laughs> uh, there's no way I can, I can operate brain teasers right now. Hello, and welcome to Is This Good? The show we boldly, conclusively, and scientifically decide what things in this big wide world are good. I'm Matt Austin, and with me, as always, is production powerhouse Jason Doyle. Hello. Hi, JD. Thanks for coming. And today's guest is a man with a very particular set of skills. Those skills? Pretending to play guitar, balancing household objects (laughs) on his shoulder, and telling you exactly when your dog is going to die. It's true. He's very accurate. (laughs) Stay away from my dog! He's also an NBA broadcasting legend who spent almost 20 years behind the mic. He's the co-host of No Dunks, the oldest and best basketball podcast on the planet. And he's making his triumphant and long-awaited return to Is This Good? It's Tass Money Mellis. Tass, (laughs) welcome back to Is This Good? Thank you, Matt. I have been waiting for this day for many months, many, many months. But now I'm just fully on depressed over here. Hearing that intro... I've got nothing going for me. I'm, I play a fake guitar. You're right. You That's do. What I you do. do play a fake guitar. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're totally right. And that makes me feel terrible about myself. I can balance things on my shoulder. I suck at that. But I no, love doing it. No, and your head. Oh, and, and your head. head. Yeah, that was a good time. That was a good time. <laughs> Which is a part of your of your culture. Let's be honest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, my uh, my four year old broke her first plate because we started saying, "Okay, no more plastic plates with our kids." Yeah. And she smashed a plate, which is also part of my culture. <laughs> yep. I yelled out an "Opa!" and she cried even more. She hated <laughs> that I said that. Hated it. I said it's fun. It's fun when you break a plate. She yeah. didn't like that. Yeah. I saw an Instagram video of um, a Greek wedding. And it was a woman. She she broke the first plate so that it, it created a, a jagged edge, kind of. And uh-huh. then she had a stack of 10 plates. And then she used that jagged edge plate and just went like, and like broke her way down every... Have you ever seen this movie before? No, this is a new one. It was amazing. How did they... How? Is that possible? I guess the pointy edge. Yeah. Well, first of all, are they getting... When you see this in a Greek restaurant, they're... Getting bad plates. <laughs> what, yeah. All the plates where the reviews are like, "Ugh, I bought these plates," and even two weeks later they were broken. Mm. The Greek restaurant's like, "We got to order those plates." Yeah. Well, I in in the place that I worked at in Greece, they had plates specially made. They were breakaway plates, basically. Right. But they were smashing those plates on people's heads. Right? <laughs> like like in a movie when someone falls through um, a plate glass window. Right. Yeah, and it's a bri- it's the same thing. It's like plaster. It's like uh, it's not like you would never eat off this plate. It's literally des- made to be broken. Yeah, yes. It's yes, like yes. a prop plate. Yes, as you say, okay, like a, a plate okay. plate glass okay. or something that yeah, smashes. Yeah, so that's maybe how she was doing it. Maybe. Yeah, that's a very good point. That's that's true. When they were breaking it off people's heads, Jay, that was just for for effects for fun. Yeah, it was sort of their their little shtick. I, I don't know if they do that anymore. They would give you a sh- it, every night they would have a uzo circle where it literally at the peak season was like 600 people in a circle like rows deep and they would play Zorba the Greek and they would smash plates. You would they give they would give you a shot of uzo, you take the shot and then they smash a plate over your head. And they did this every single night. Gosh. It's a little anesthetic. Uh, yeah. A little shot of Uzo, exactly. and, then, and then you get the, the plate cracked over you. Exactly. Um, and so, so what's the, what about the third skill test? You, that's, that might be your best skill. Yeah, for sure. Telling what, exactly what a dog is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that impresses me. I was able to do that with, uh, with a group of our, a couple of our friends, uh, Thody and Colette, mm-hmm. and I was able to tell them that JP was going to die very soon. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, mm-hmm. it was right, but... Wait, I did, I did feel somewhat good after it that I was well, able you, to. Tell you them. learned, I think, why they burnt uh, witches and mystics in the past. Because even though you're you're bang on, you're coming with valid, actionable information. Yes. People aren't taking it well, and yeah. you're saying, oh, "What? I'm just reporting the truth to you? Exactly. I'm sorry." Exactly. But still, that's what they we don't are like living it. for. We're living for the truth. Yeah. So I will always bring that. 
And that was exactly what happened. I was 100% correct in my one statement. <laughs> how, uh, how close to the, the time? Like, it was, I was thir- uh, it was a younger, youngish dog. Yeah. <laughs> I forget Yeah, how that's old. when it's gutsy. That's a good yeah, you call. Right. That's going for it on fourth down, you know? And I believe, the, I believe <laughs> it was 13 months away. So soon was, it was, it was fairly uh, soon. It was, it was, oh, I, I think it was 13 what? months. What? 13 months? So how did they even remember you said it? That's over a year. Yeah, I wonder if I'm wrong. Anyway, right, I think it was a really your young... skills are all shit. You you remember. If somebody says your dog is going to die soon, yeah. you remember. Especially hey. when it's a young dog. They basically yeah. just, you know, air quotes, not just gotten it, but it felt pretty recent. It was a it was a baby of a dog. Yeah. I think it was a I think it may have been like a year to two, two years, and what? then it so, died when it was three. So that's pretty young. So why did you make this prognosis? Like, I could what just tipped see you it. off? You just yeah. saw it in yeah. its eyes. Yeah. In its eyes. I looked <laughs> into the, I looked into the future. Yeah, the dog was sad. I looked into my rearview mirror and I said, "That dog behind me is about to die," and you backed up. Yeah, the dog yeah. was feeling it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but also JD, if I said JD's gonna die, mm-hmm. uh-huh. you know, or. I mean, no one's going to remember that because we all die. So I could right. say I'm going to die. Uh huh. Yeah. And hopefully, if it happens, <laughs> even right. if it happened in 13 months, actually, if I said I'm going to die and I died in 13 months, people would probably. I mean, you know what? I'll actually be yeah. insulted if people don't play this clip because that means people weren't listening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people weren't time stamping. <laughs> Don't worry, Rachel will make a short out of this. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that would be our best, <laughs> our best uh, viewed, our most oh, viewed yeah. short. For That's sure. a good point. Man oh. predicts his own <laughs> death. <laughs> we should get different takes of me. Because no one, once, you, once a short is clipped out of the show, no one remembers what show it's from or if it was actually, you know, so I mean, we should right. just get takes of me saying different ways that I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we'll roll that into a short. Uh, yeah, okay, well, that's uh, that's a nice thought. Well, let's go to another, uh, you know, maybe not nice thought here, because, Tass, I, I do have to remind you, we were supposed to record this podcast on September 21st, 2023, okay? Yes. Then on September 20th, uh, I got a call from JD saying you had been in a very serious accident, and I remember hanging up the phone, and I remember staring at the wall and thinking this guy will do anything to not be on the show <laughs> uh, uh, I'm glad I can laugh and, uh, <laughs> and and that you saying I was gonna die wasn't a short uh, no, right? yeah um, yes yeah. it's a great reminder actually because in all honesty Matt uh, I I totally had forgotten about that mm. because i did forget about a lot when my head right, when my head was hit by a vehicle and i guess that one was was gone from my mind that we had that scheduled huh mm-hmm. yeah yeah i, th- I think i i sent you a text maybe oh I a can, couple hours before I jd called that, me. that exists <laughs> yeah, yeah and i was like uh okay like, all good and then i was like well i guess this guy doesn't get back to me anymore huh <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what i I was out literally uh, away from my phone. This is a total side note, but they took away my phone, as mm-hmm. they should, um, for a couple when months. When you were in the hospital. You mean. Yes, when I was in the hospital. Yeah. The medicine said that man should not be looking at a digital device. And mm-hmm. best couple months of my life in that regard. Right. In that regard. Yes. Just not having, the phone was gone. I never had to look at it again. Um, so this is a total side note. But those are, those are memorable times. So you didn't text me, though. Cause I no, then I it might have, have been. An, I think it was an email. Actually, it was an email. Okay, yeah, I don't. It was have back that. in the day when I used to give you some idea of the things we would be talking about on the show, which I do not do anymore. No. Um, and I think you just didn't. You didn't say like, okay, cool, got it, or anything like that. Oh no, and, I was uh, ready. Of course, I was ready. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you were ready. I'm sure you were fine. I was ready. Uh, but it is. It is like a truly a miracle. I mean, I was even that. If you, if this was your first time potting again, I would still say it was a miracle. Yeah. But you were back, like what, three months ago, podcasting on No Dunks? More four? What? Yeah. It was right before Thanksgiving. Is it? Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's insane. Like, do you feel like you are um, Wolverine esque? <laughs> like, should you be studied? <laughs> um. Absolutely 
not. I could. I was going to say absolutely, but no. This probably should be my first podcast. Because I, 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 I did have wonderful people saying to me, take it slow. Take it slow. Take, take it your slow. time. But you didn't take it no, slow. No, I'm stubborn like a freaking mule. <laughs> I need to work. And so, uh, yeah, I wanted to come back and be a part of the show. No, also stubborn because I just wanted to be, you know, number one, with the guys again. Number two, um, doing what I used to do. And so that was part of it, part of me being stubborn. It was fairly quick. I wasn't able to drive at that time. That was a weird time in my life. Mm. Uh, I can't remember the day when I couldn't drive when I was a teenager. And so, yeah, I had a, a chauffeur. Danielle is her name. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> my wife's name. And, uh, yeah, she was bringing me every day. Every day we had to drive together for a long period of time to the hospital, to rehab. And, um, yeah, I was definitely getting on her nerves. And I was going to say, I'm sure knowing you, there were in those weeks of, of her driving you everywhere, nary a comment from you on <laughs> any improvements she could have been making, certain oh, yellows she could have gone through, certain rights she could have uh, made faster, You're certain me- speed limits she could have ignored. I can feel it. You're making me relive her pressing on the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hate it. I hate the feeling of brakes in the passenger seat, which is just a passenger not looking at things, right? Mm-hmm. Like when you're a passenger and you feel like, oh, the driver's stopping all of a sudden. <laughs> like, I don't I don't mean like a, a full-on stop. Of course, you're not going to be ready for that. But I just mean the driver just slowing down <laughs> really quickly. Yeah. Um, anyways, I think because I do that too, and she, she says, whoa. Whoa, and I say, you're just not looking at the road. You're just not ready. <laughs> you are just not ready. Yeah, we had uh, many, many discussions. I was definitely, I was a secondary driver, unfortunately. Mm. But um, well, yeah, I do well, want to thank out, First of all, shout out to Daniel for, oh, for gosh. Oh, gosh. taking care of everything during that time. Because yes. that, was, that was a heavy load she was bearing. I think she told me that her, her ideal dream for a vacation would be to lock herself in a dark room without a phone after that. So I hope, uh, I hope she got at least a day to do that at some point since then. Yeah, I wish, uh, I wish I wasn't laughing at that, but it's true. She just wanted <laughs> dark room days. She wanted the heck away from me uh, and everybody else. Mm. But yeah, now I think it's, it's happened months later. It's, happened, it's taken some time, but she's had some quiet times, which uh, those are nice. Those are beneficial. I just talked to her. She was painting, and I think she was happy. Oh, that's nice. Happy to do I'm glad that. You, I'm glad you interrupted her during that private moment. Um, I, I have a question for you about this. Not a serious question, but who was the most famous person to reach out to you during that time? You're obviously in the hospital. You're a legendary NBA broadcaster. People knew because of this show and because of the internet being what it is. People knew uh, you know, pretty soon after what had happened to you, how serious it was. Uh, yeah, I wonder who's the most famous person to reach out to you. I'll give you a two-parter. I will say as the most famous person, um, Adam Silver sent a text, and I do believe it was Heard Adam Silver, um, wow. the NBA mm-hmm. commissioner. But I'll take it a, a step. Wait, how did you know? Was his name in your phone? No, he he signed it off as Adam. Oh, and um, Well, I'll read the number on air, so I'll do some research. No, I, I did is. reply to him. After months of not having a cellular device, I did respond to everybody, and I responded mm-hmm. to him, and he responded mm-hmm. to me. So it wasn't and you a- said, Adam, Adam, what are we, are we going to bring back hand checking? Uh, the <laughs> offensive ex- scoring explosions out of control. I don't know about this Kissinger comparison, Adam. What about that? Uh, <laughs> Um, oh, also, uh, I haven't revealed this because I'm just not ready to reveal it, but through somebody, I got an assigned, glad to hear you're alive and doing well, from the President of the United States. That's the most famous that I've received. What? what? The current Donald, sitting president? Donald Trump? <laughs> no, 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 not a previous president. The current well, Joe president. Biden wrote you a letter? Yes. Well, it's it's something that I'm sure is presented to him all the time with a lot of people where he basically mm-hmm. just signs off, essentially, mm-hmm. on a printed letter, which was presented to him by our agency. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm sure there's a connection there. So our agency was able to say, hey... Uh, can you just sign this one? Can you, can you sign this one for this guy? I mean, he probably just has a pile that he signs, obviously. And I was on one of them, frankly. Wow. And so, yeah, that's that was very neat. 
A very okay, cool thing. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, to basically just say, hey, glad to see you're alive, Tass, and uh, hope you're doing well. And just to be clear, the glad to see you're alive was typed or what, okay. I mean, whatever it said, typed or handwritten? I'm, I'm, I'm rewording. It may not say glad no, to I see know, you're alive. I know. Okay. <laughs> was it Joey going, hey, glad you're alive? Hey, listen, Mac, I glad know. you're alive. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was printed. It was printed, yeah, to be totally fair. But this is a real document. Damn. Yeah. So it was hey, Tess. I'm putting some rolled oats in this envelope. <laughs> and a Werther's original. A little treat for you. <laughs> uh, Joey. Uh, that's exciting. Uh, what, do, do you have... Uh, I mean, I wasn't going to ask you this, but since we're talking about it, did you... Do you feel any differently now? I guess is the broad way to ask that question. Like, did you come out of it with any insights? Because, I mean, I have to say, we're joking about it now, and... I, you know, maybe like the the biggest blessing is that you are so you're doing so well in such a fast time that we can joke about it now. But there was a time when I thought, well, this isn't we're never going to be able to joke about this because this could be permanent. You know, oh, yeah. Ta- like the last time I talked to Tass could be the last time I talked to Tass. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, did you come out of it feeling any different? Do you have any any insight for us? <laughs> any insight? As in, I I still feel different and I'm I'm glad you asked me about the famous most famous person that called me because I do remember and have video this is this is quite unfortunate video of me being asked questions by the doctors yeah you, your basic stuff like what 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 year are we in you know that type of thing mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. that commonly asked of of patients and I was asked who's the president of the United States <laughs> And uh-huh. I didn't say Biden properly. I knew it was Biden, so it was in the brain. Right. But uh, mm-hmm. you could you could hear me say Beaten. I said Beaten back to the. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. um, and uh, yeah, there was a time, and, and JD was graceful enough to visit me. And it was unfortunate for him to have to see <clears throat> my broken face and and slightly broken head at that time. Um, but I am not a hundred percent back, and and the people that often go through brain trauma take twelve, eighteen months, or even longer. Uh, and we're yeah, we're about five and a half months out. Excuse me. So I've got a lot of phlegm in my throat since I injured my mm-hmm. head. So mm-hmm. that's is that what, new? You said you said you lost your sense of smell. Yeah, I mean that was sort of a joke. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> and, yeah, I the my, I do not feel one hundred percent returned, and this is more. There are some impediments that are happening, but right. but yeah, I feel I feel very 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 close, and so it's wild. It's wild to see what happens on the uh, the graphs and everything, literally uh, that we were going through at the time. Um, mm-hmm. what, what could happen, right, and <clears throat> uh, what did happen so yeah that was a a traumatic time but yeah i don't have any insights other than yeah i'm not 100 percent back <laughs> okay. other than yeah to say the, the brain <laughs> live every moment like it's your last maybe or um i mean i wouldn't do that you had a lot of time that. in bed tats you could have come up with one thing that... <laughs> i wouldn't say live I mean, every moment like it's your this last ha- life-altering event happened to you i mean this isn't like when you broke your femur rounding third base if you if you <laughs> if you didn't have any insights after that uh, well, that's but, why I'm waiting for my comeback and for my my entire recap of what happened mm. and the entire experience to be podcasted or shown or written or presented by the President of the United States uh, 12 to 18 months later when it's, when I'll feel a lot better, when I can have a drink of alcohol again, mm-hmm. when I can uh, mm. go through day-to-day stuff. No, my the book isn't... It's not close. Yeah, I just I am not a hundred percent, but I'm damn close. Right. Okay. Well, um, after all that, uh, you ready to be funny? Because <laughs> you're being a bit of a downer. <laughs> I'm not the one who asked myself about being hit by a freaking SUV. Uh, so. Oh, now you're saying. Yeah, in case you were thinking it was just a car, don't worry. It was an SUV, okay? Yeah. It's higher off the ground. It's got more weight behind it. So if you were impressed if he got hit by a <laughs> Celica, you're going to be even more impressed it was a yeah. Hummer. No, I wish it wasn't a Hummer. But I w- <laughs> it wasn't that big. I wish I have a, a GD video. I wish I had the video to see because I bring up SUV. Being If it was a, a flush hit by an SUV, I wouldn't be here today. 
Right. I think I think it got me on that. So you, was there no like CCTV camera no. that caught it? Shockingly, as far as you no. Know? Beside the Atlanta Braves stadium, no. We've we've gone through the tapes that do uh-huh. not exist. We've tried to find the tapes and talk to police, et cetera. It literally doesn't have one because uh, you would would you really want to see it? Yeah, that's a funny thing. Um, I. <laughs> Sometimes I say, why the hell would I want to see that? But at the same time, I feel so recovered. Uh, yes, right. there's a part of me that's spiteful. I was hit by a car by someone who was not <clears throat> driving the vehicle like they should be driving it. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, yeah, there's a, there's some, there's a little bit of anger in sure. me. That yeah. part of me wants to see it, yeah. And you don't remember yeah. it at all still? Zero. Yeah. No, and I never will. I, I, I do not think. I don't, I don't remember that day or... The days that you came in, JD, which was mm-hmm. like four days after I was in the accident, I was hit. Yeah. For probably about a good uh, ten days, I literally do not remember ten right. days. Yeah. It's just those traumatic videos of me saying "beaten." Um, I was unable to. I was unable to speak properly. Which is, which is. I wish his name was yeah. beaten because then, just beaten would be a great. Oh, hell yeah. Would be a great campaign slogan. <laughs> uh, I wish I was asked his middle name, Robinette. Uh, I, want yeah. to, I want to know if I could remember You knew that? that. You knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I'd please ask me that. Fact, I don't that know his been, last name. I just know his middle name. That would have been a, such a flex, too. Who's the president? <laughs> Robinette Biden. Joseph Look it up. Robinette Biden. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised that you can't remember. He loves the Amtrak, Delaware, <laughs> popcorn. He fought him at the pool. <laughs> Just a lot of random <laughs> Biden facts. Just uh, yeah, it was uh, and- when talking to you in that when that state, you were like, it was like talking to somebody who was asleep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just a uh, stream of consciousness just coming out of you. It was yes, wild. I have seen videos of that as well. Where yes, I was just I was streaming, um, so yeah, it was a time. It was a time. Doesn't get any more huh? downer than that. Hilarious. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's it's good. It's, it's good. good. It's good to see. No, I mean, was, I, I actually went... I stopped middle sen- mid sentence because I thought I had something to say. I thought I had, it, but I. I don't have memory anymore, so I forget what I was going to say. But it's ha- hard to be funny when you don't remember what you're what you're going to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Let me just write it down this time. <laughs> okay, you write down. You don't know what I'm going to ask you, but no, write down I don't. the answers. What okay, do you think? Uh, all right, I'll give you a housekeeping to uh, just uh, turn that friend upside down, okay? Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, go to patreon.com slash is this good. You'll get ad-free episodes. You'll get access to our thriving community on Discord. You'll get an exclusive episode every month. And, of course, send topics to isthisgoodpod at gmail.com. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Tassie. It's so good to get. I haven't seen you. I haven't uh, seen you in, per- well, quote-unquote person since I was in Atlanta. Yes, that was a very, a very nice emotional, visit. A very emotional visit. Um, this is a little less emotional. It wasn't but, that, it wasn't that uh, emotional. I didn't see you cry. What, for me it was? I didn't see you cry. To see you in the second. flesh, to, to like, I'd heard you were doing yes. better, but then to see you uh, like walking around from from where I knew you were oh, to yeah. a couple of, or a few short months later, just. Oh, because yes. it was around Thanksgiving, wasn't it? That I was there? Nah, no. It was October. Um, October. But I'm surprised I remember what month it was. But yeah, I. Uh, you just reminded me again. You made me flash back to when I was in a vehicle with Danielle to come see you. At that day, I didn't like that experience with Danielle in that car. Oof. Oh, that's why a- you got out of the car. You weren't angry that you were hanging out with us. You were ang- <laughs> angry at her driving. No. Yeah, there's so much traffic. I, rem- I remember that day vividly. It was rough. There was a lot of brakes. A lot of mm, brake lot pumping. A lot of brakes. Didn't like that. <laughs> Danielle, if you're listening, you could have done better. You know, there's <laughs> nurturing, you know, A plus, but driving. Totally. We got to work on that. We got to work on that. Yeah. Tass, will, Tass will show you how to do it. But Tass, good news. This first question is about driving. Yes. I've been saving this topic for you all these months. Wow. Could have used oh. it on anyone. But I said, no, this is for Tass. This was from September 21st, the day I was supposed to be on the show. That was, this was part of the. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't know this this one question because I did send it to you at the time. Yes, now I do remember. So what that is it? Email. What is it? I don't. What's it? What's the question? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, something about driving. <laughs> driving. Was it an email somebody sent in? 
Uh, no, no. It was based on a news story, and ah. the question is reverse angle backwards parking. Is this good? So this is what oh, happened yeah, <laughs> way right. back in September. Uh, Ventura Bo- Boulevard, a, a very busy thoroughfare here in Los Angeles. They, uh, the council member did this reimagined Ventura Boulevard thing where there was not enough parking on the street. So to ameliorate that, they made it this angled parking. But to do angled parking, you have to back in. And on the good side, they created more spaces, which was good. But people were very angry about this. Mm. Like here, I'll just get a reading from the article for in the LA Times. LA Times. Glenn Hayden, brow furrowed, was driving east along the thoroughfare en route to Woodland Hills Business Machine Center to drop off a typewriter for repair. Okay? <laughs> okay? Well, this sorry, 80- what year is this? <laughs> yeah, well, he's. I'm going to get to the next sentence. The 85-year-old attorney <laughs> idled for 10 seconds in traffic outside the shop as his eyes bounced between his rearview mirror and the slots ahead of him. Finally, he pulled forward across four vacant parking spaces with his 2007 Lexus ES 350 before turning 90 degrees and reversing into a spot. Okay. I'm just happy there were no other cars around, he said. <laughs> Joe Biden should send that guy a card. Right. So, uh, so he drove past or onto the four parking spots. <clears throat> yeah, couldn't figure it out. Oh, he right. just couldn't figure it out. Hmm. This is a man couldn't who gets typewriters repaired. Yeah, <laughs> he's surprised. I know. But uh, uh, and then uh, ben only Nico. old people, only old people drive Lexus. No, is that true? <laughs> no, but <laughs> my it's grandfather not... uh, since passed. God rest his memory, drove a Lexus yeah. at one point. That's what go. I'm saying. That's true. That's what I'm saying. That's true. Well, they do. That's true. That's two. That's a rule. <laughs> uh, anyways, this guy, Ben Nico, who has a business there, uh, he said, this is costing us money. At the end of the day, you know, our customers, they don't want to go around and come and back in. So I ask you, a man oh, who, and we can get into back, back in parking in general. Mm-hmm. JD, you're not the guest on the show. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Tass has been through a lot to get here to answer this question. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Reverse angle backwards parking. Is this good? Sure. This question isn't for JD, but I will say that you, JD, and Matt, you were quite inspirational in the conversation about parking way back when, when we were on the starters and we had the conversation mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. reverse parking. Okay. Now, yes. they weren't angled spots. Yeah, correct. That's true. The benefit- so it wasn't mandatory. This is mandatory. Right. But, oh, JD, why don't you put up the picture just so everyone can, can understand what I mean here? Okay, but in case your your spatial reasoning isn't good. Right. You see, these yeah. are, they're they're angled so that when you're driving, you have to go past the spot and then back into it. So we're in the Los Angeles here. No, this no, this, this is, is just suspiciously looks like Amsterdam to me. Uh, no, I think this is in America, but there's an Amsterdam flag hanging from the Where? window there. Okay. Yeah, because that's a, a shop that sells panna <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's too many American cars here to be in uh, Amsterdam. Oh, that's a good point. So the shop owners complaining that people were just going to drive by and not want to park in a reverse spot? That's Yeah, what, they what don't I, understand. They don't I, understand. I find that hard to believe. I if do you too. think about it, though, you do have to drive past the spot. I think yeah. that... that so that means that unless you signal immediately, like you can see a spot two spots ahead. So you have to know it's there. You have to put your blinker on right away, drive past it, and hope that the person behind you has seen that and does not encroach and come, you know, nose to ass. Yeah, but you do that for a parallel park yeah, job. That's exactly how you parallel park. You go past it. Yeah. No. And then you reverse into it. This that's is true. so much I know I'm not the guest. But this is yeah, so no, much you can fucking talk now. easier. Tass already talked. You could talk now. It's a, it's easier to do it this way. I I subscribe to backing into every spot I can. Okay. I, I mean, I, you. so you're still doing that. Why? Wouldn't Even I? though you know it doesn't make any sense. It does make a lot of sense. It's way no, it safer. Why does it make sense? What, the argument the argument that you guys had years ago was that it does make sense, and you're totally right. Yeah. No, I said it doesn't make sense. Backing into a regular like in a parking lot, backing into a spot is lunacy. LA has changed you, man. LA no, has what are you talking you. about? I was saying this <laughs> eight years ago. Oh man, I if wish. You, okay, what, I what, wish what I you, could. You, let me pull up that It saves time show. on the way out. It saves time on the way out. Is that what you're going to tell me? Well, it does save time on the way out, nah. but it's also way safer. And yeah. it actually, it's way. 
the people pulling out of a parking spot to leave is just as fucking excruciating as somebody backing into a parking spot. No, it's a, take a take a stopwatch. Go to Kroger. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> time ha, time the time it takes to back into a spot and then leave that spot. Uh -huh. I understand backing in will take longer, leaving will be faster in that case. Uh -huh. Or uh, front first and then backing out. I guarantee you that it takes less time to pull in and no. back up than it takes to no. Then there's more. Okay, fine. You're backing out into nothing versus backing into a tiny spot. Well, how could it what not? You be you're the case? backing out into the world. The, everything is yes, around. Yes, you're backing you. out into the world. There's Once too many you're... variables back there. <laughs> so if you back into a spot, there's nothing in the spot. But there's so when many things. Every I, turn you take in a car, 99% of turns you take in a car yes. are front forward. Okay. Your brain is trained to know spatial well, reasoning. Well, fucking train forward, your brain to move backwards. This guy who's 75 years old getting his his typewriter fixed, he's of the generation that's he's 85. Used, 85. <laughs> he's the greatest even generation. Even more. Even more so. This is how you do it. You put your arm on the you know, the passenger seat and you look behind you. That's that simple. Yeah, you look behind you to back out into space. No. What about your trunk? You go to the supermarket, <laughs> you back into the spot, thereby making your trunk inaccessible for the groceries oh, you please. purchase. Does that make sense to you? I mean, I'm, I'm uh, hearing that, silence that's because I've point. defeated that you with a, logic. That's a point. That's a point, that's I suppose. A point. That is a point. And that is one thing I do feel reluctant about when I do enter a, a parking lot. I, mm -hmm. I don't want to back in because I can't use my trunk. Yeah. That being said, I do think there are far fewer accidents for people who do reverse into 100%. their spots. 100%. Show me the studies. Show uh, me the I'm, studies. I, I, could, I could have sworn <laughs> that eight years ago, if that's when we did talk about this, that you were in the favor of backing into a spot. No, I would never. I, because I was, what, for sure. The reason you I was complaining about it on that show was because... I was sitting in the Turner parking lot waiting hours as a lineup hours. developed so JD could back into his spot. My so mini could Cooper show everyone was taking up that much space. Look how comfortable I am backing in. I'm better than you. I don't need to go f uh, face first. And it was just, it was creating a backlog. And I said, enough. Enough. <laughs> so, enough. Oh and I was God. a brave voice that spoke up. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I guess... Some things haven't changed. In, in a recent uh, recent uh, Cartnark, uh, previous guest on this show, mm -hmm. video, he traveled to Japan looking for carts, uh, wayward carts, couldn't find one, A, so point for Japan there. But you look at that parking lot, every single one is parked back, it, uh, reversed in. So oh. all every single car was pointed outwards. Interesting. Heaven. It's heaven. It is. Happening. I mean, it's a very orderly society. I'll yes. give you that. Okay. Huh. I wish I was Japanese. And, I was, and it is a very efficient society, as far as I know. Oh, you're exactly right. I've never had the pleasure of visiting. Exactly right. What a long life expectancy they have but, there as well. <laughs> I feel but like. then again, Tucker Carlson couldn't find any uh, wayward carts in Russia because, you know, as he was showing when he went there, <laughs> that they have the system where you put in a quarter and then you got to return it to get the okay. quarter back yes, or yes. whatever the uh, ruble right. I um, yeah <laughs> oh, are they still on the ruble there i guess they I, must I be right assume so they're not yeah. in the euro i'll no? tell you that i don't know if you've been following the news <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh it's a wonderful experience backing up into a parking spot yeah because after we had that discussion years ago i started doing it again mm -hmm. and i love it now i won't do it in a situation where there are cars that will have to wait for me yeah. I, my, my, oh, okay. Okay. Respectful. My like Canadian that. self is just too Sound. nice. It's too friggin' nice. I won't make you wait. To perfect, be perfectly honest, I'm the same way. Oh yeah. There we go. But did you know this is a relatively new phenomenon? That apparently older cars, the backs were higher, so it was actually harder to to back out to see. Right. So the the pulling in, but first is really since the advent of the backup camera, that's it's exploded in popularity because people say, "Well, I now have this technology." I guess, but I've seen I've seen guys uh, reverse park a, a, a eighteen wheeler tractor trailer. It's, oh my God. it's doable. Yeah, I, I know, I know. There's a there's a fire station near me, and I've seen them back the fire truck in. It's very. You know why they do that? The guy so watching, they can get the why? heck out of the garage. That's exactly right. Out of the bay as because exactly people's right. lives are on the line. <laughs> but you know what? How much how much time have you spent in your life blocked on a street because a fire truck? 
is performatively backing into the firehouse. <laughs> Just to show you, we're real men. It does. We happen. slide down a pole and eat chili. It's well, a good. It's a good flex. It is a good flex. Yeah. Yeah. But so, don't tell me you haven't been backed up on a street waiting for a fire truck. To okay. Back uh, let me calculate it. The time in my life that that's happened, I'm probably up to about two and a half minutes. Over 53 yeah, years. Yeah, and Tass factored that in when he figured out when you were going to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do firefighters eat chili? Is, is that a common thing? Still? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, must. Yeah. <laughs> they must. Yeah. Five alarm chili. It's weird that they name it that because that's bad. Like, you hear the five alarms, you know that you could die. I, I didn't realize it was the firefighters who came up with that. It's it's like in a hospital they don't call it stage four Jello. Right, right. You know? <laughs> what kind of Jello would you like? Code blue Jello. <laughs> ah, it's a n- 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 <laughs> nuclear winter pie, please. Um, okay, uh, JD. Uh, for various reasons, there are no polls today. Oh. So I want you to get into the head of the people. Okay. What do you say the percentage of people? You, you know, you've already heard this 85-year-old man that was yes. <laughs> typing a letter to his grandson yes. on a typewriter as he was backing into a spot. What do you think the people would say? I think that the people are going to say that it's bad, reversing, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they're... The, the, they just. <laughs> I don't want to insult so them, angry. but God damn it, like, you know... Um, yeah. Grow up is what I say. Grow up and back your car in. We didn't really talk about the angular part. I yeah, would, that's, that's even easier, Tess, I think. Yeah. You know what I it's mean? It's better, but you're forcing people to do something that if, if you believe in my school of thought, that backing into parking spots is stupid, you've spent your whole life not doing it. And now you're being forced to do it. How do you parallel park, man? By the government, JD. The government is forcing you to do something, oh, infringing oh, on your please. liberties you're to forward watching. park. You're watching a lot of Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you... Matt, do you remember? <laughs> did you see a few weeks ago, um, the AP tweeted an article that was like, uh, this New Jersey city limited street parking and hasn't seen a traffic death in seven years. And then... Uh, <laughs> Canada's own Jordan Peterson retweeted it and said, you've become pathetic beyond comprehension, AP, and the woke death will soon visit you. That's what I think the people are going to say, JD, that you have become pathetic beyond comprehension and the woke death will soon visit you. Okay, put it in the comments. How do you parallel park, Matt? How do you parallel park? That's what I want to know. How do I? I, uh, The way a normal red blooded American parks. Front, Front first. Front first. No, 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 sorry. I, I, I go past it first, as okay. you were saying. I can't yes. deny that. And then but you... there's no, that's the only option. You can't head first parallel park. Exactly. And these are, these are the alternative to parallel parking. And it's way easier than parallel parking. Yeah, I, I do think that's a fair point. I do wonder, put up the picture for a second. <laughs> Don't you think that I'm scared that, okay, so I'm driving down the street where the car is at the end of this road. Where, right. If you're not listening, if you're not watching... I'm going to paint a picture. You're driving straight, right? Yeah. Now you have to stick your nose out to back in. Don't Aren't you worried your nose will go past the white dotted you line into though. the other lane? You don't have to stick your nose out. You just reverse the car. You indicate and you reverse the car. And when you indicate, in a civilized society, people know that you want to park there. So they stop. It's the same okay. thing if they were you were parallel parking. It's great points on both sides. I think some people would turn their vehicle to the left a little bit so they could reverse quicker or they would know where they're reversing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you don't have to, as JD, I, you, JD also brought up. You don't have to. Really and most points. of the cars have uh, reverse cams anyways. If fucking they park themselves, some of them. So just reverse the guy yeah. the car. And it feels like that lane is even bigger than that lane in Amsterdam or wherever that is. <laughs> it feels like you've got enough space. It is. It's so fun to reverse. I think I liked reversing prior to... The camera, the reverse cam. Me too. It's it's not as good. Yeah. It's not as proper. Mm-hmm. It's too easy. It, it blur- I mean, well, it's it's it's. It also doesn't one read. jump. It sometimes it blurs out. Like sometimes there's water condensed right. on that. Yeah, and you can't trust those lines that it draws. You can't. They're not right. So you I think I think right. I enjoyed right. that. I enjoyed the experience of reversing more. I actually was just in a parallel spot. Well, I was about to parallel park, but there were people behind me, and I wanted to let the kids out and Danielle out so I 
drove right into it first. Mm-hmm. Not not to park, but to let everybody out and to not impede everybody else behind yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just want to pat myself on the back for that. Yeah. So I let them all out. Then traffic went by, and I reversed. And I had a great experience. It was a wonderful experience. <laughs> Feels good. It Feels does. great. It feels so good to reverse. So this 85-year-old guy... <laughs> Um, is he still alive? I know this, this story. <laughs> yeah, it's a great question. <laughs> the story was from what? Almost six months ago from at least. Yeah. At the very least. So if he's, if he's well, not Japanese, he may be dead. I know the Japanese are living longer <laughs> than all of us. Mm. Gosh, I want to go. I want to go That trick doesn't longer. work in Japan. You can't do your trick in Japan. It's the, it's too complicated to find out when anyone's going to die there. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tass, I don't know. I had so many things uh, prepared to talk to you about. I don't even know where to go here. All right. Well, let's move to a segment that we call Unpopular Opinions. So this is where I give you an unpopular opinion that the internet says, and you tell me if you agree with said unpopular opinion. And I like this one. This is actually an unpopular opinion. The upset partner should be the one to sleep on the couch. Wow. Ooh, spicy takes. Normally, the way we've seen this work in film and television, and perhaps in our own lives, mm-hmm. when we've uh, backseat driven our partner a little too much, uh, <laughs> that, you know, the partner says, you're going on the couch. Right. And then you take your little auxiliary blanket and pillow, and then you curl up on the couch, <laughs> and they get the nice, comfortable bed. But this this person is saying that actually the person that's pissed off should defiantly get up and say, mm. I'm going to the couch. Right. And you leave that person in their bed, in that giant bed, alone, knowing there should be someone next to them to reflect on their misdeeds. So, uh, Tassie, what do you think on this one? I, I would definitely be on the side of the angry person leaving I, would be beneficial because I've, I've been there, done that, and that's, mm-hmm. that's what I like to do. You mean been told to leave or left? No, just left. I oh, you I, see? See, that's good. I agree with you. Yeah, but you're leaving somebody, as you were saying, in the bed that they don't <laughs> want to be alone in, potentially. Mm-hmm. It's more but, of a... Yeah, yeah, but that's just the point. Well, I get... Right. I guess we have to look at it from two, from two ways. Yeah. I, I'm talking about if you're pissed off at your wife for a yeah. good reason, let's say. This has to be a good reason. <laughs> sure. And I almost I almost can't think of one, so I almost want to reverse it. It's so she's rare. Mad at you. It's so rare. I know. Okay. <laughs> Let's say she's mad at you, because that we can actually picture. Okay, yeah, yeah. So she's, she's mad at you for a legitimate reason. She says, I honestly, I just, you know what, Tass? I can't. Go to the couch. Mm-hmm. Versus her saying, you know what, Tass? I can't. And then just storming out of the room, and now you're left alone in the bed. Mm. Right? I think, that, I think that is the true power move. Because also, you can't argue. If she says, Tass, go to the couch, you might be like, what? What? Why? No, we could talk. But if she just leaves, what are you going to do? You just got to sit there in silence. Yeah. I agree. That's the way to do it. I think it's it's beneficial for both parties that you wouldn't have to sleep on a crappy couch. Right. No, but you but the but the angry person, the the, the aggrieved person. person is on the couch. Yes, the aggrieved person should be on the couch. I totally agree. Right. Oh, oh, you agree. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, Good. yeah, yeah. Good. It's like a, it's like a, it's what's more than fuck you, it's fuck me. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking the hit here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's going to suffer because of you. You are driving me away. That's what you, that's the move. Right. Like, I, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. so it's, furious with you. Yes. I couldn't possibly be in the same room with you. And I don't even care. I'll sleep on the floor. I'll sleep in the doghouse. I'll sleep. Well, not in the doghouse, because metaphorically, that's where you they should be is the dog they're in the dog right. house but right. you know what i mean like i'll sleep on yeah, the, I know what you mean. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and, and then they, they feel even more guilty first mm-hmm. they feel guilty for uh, whatever it is they did wrong yes. in this case task feels yes. guilty for whatever he did wrong but now yes. he's also feeling guilty that his lovely wife is sleeping on a couch now this couch could be a cb2 you know maybe a, a, a maybe a full crate and barrel i don't think we're quite at restoration hardware it could be a comfortable couch. Actually, mm-hmm. that is a comfortable couch. Now that I'm picturing your couch, it's a big. There's actually it's sectional. Oh, you're, so oh, you're in my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, in your house. Oh. You have a very comfortable couch. You probably fight over who's going to sleep on the couch. 
I would rather I get mad at my wife no, no, so I can I'm go sleeping. sleep on the couch. Yeah, <laughs> I've never had a, a a good reason to be mad at Danielle. It's it's zero for zero. But I have uh, I have taken myself out of the room. Yeah, just to be able to act. As, also, just it's cooling off. Um, and I don't, right. I don't want to be feisty beside her. But yeah, there's been many times where I've been dumb, mad for a dumb reason, and taken myself out and slept on a very comfortable couch, which I'm going to start doing because it's far more comfortable than our bed. Uh, but you're, you're right in that. But the, I do feel there is a part of me that does feel bad for the person who may be a little lonely. The person uh, on the couch or the person in the bed? No, the bed. Person in the bed. Now, in, yeah, in this that's scenario, good. that's. That's good because yeah. the person in the bed is the bad person in this or the oh, wrong in this person. scenario. Right. In this yeah. scenario. Oh, man. I'm, you know I'm really flipping on both it's, ways. It's, Tass, I shouldn't. Uh, this is a brain teaser. I, I literally I brought you on. You here fucked to, me up, man. <laughs> uh, there's no way I can I can operate brain teasers right now. No way. Give me at least six to eight months. <laughs> like, oh, there was a pool of water because they were standing on on a on ice. And then when the ice melted. <laughs> Right. Um, what was I? Oh yeah, this reminds me of back in my single days. If you were gonna have a one night stand with someone, or whatever, not even necessarily one night stand, but just an evening with someone that you know you're not really dating, mm-hmm. the move is do it at their house, not your house. Because if it's their house, you can leave any time. You can be the person saying, "I'm going to the couch." That's it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If they're at your house, you don't. You can't really control. So, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I think they're the same. So uh, let's move on from that. <laughs> well, if, if somebody's coming to your house for a, whether it be a, a one night stand or a uh, two night up, stand, a, 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 home, a home and home, a, a, home and home, yeah. <laughs> a double header, <laughs> a one night of this this uh, two night home stand, um, they should leave. That's the proper thing to do. That's the right. Yeah, but thing they to don't. Do. They don't, Tass. Yeah. Sometimes they don't leave. They're, <laughs> they're, they're in my Egyptian cotton, and they want to stay there forever. Mm. Wow, sounds <laughs> like so a nice. pharaoh. <laughs> it does sound lovely to be with you, Pharaoh. Like Egyptian Queen cotton Nefertiti. sounds. Nefertiti. <laughs> How many threads are we talking? Uh, not a good count. But you huh. know, sometimes I find that a higher count. Is not as comfortable, actually. It's counterintuitive. They take a longer time to break yeah. it. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what Bowl and Branch will tell you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Tass, is Bowl and Branch one of the ads you've played a fake guitar to? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not that good. I'm not that good to have three words in the brand name. <laughs> one word. On the, in the guitar, I can just play one strum, and then I'm done. <laughs> It is fascinating because most people, when they when they don't know how to play guitar, they'll play air guitar. Mm-hmm. Or if they're holding guitar, they will mime, but they'll, you know, they won't actually touch the strings. You don't know how to play guitar, but you also touch all the strings, which I think oh, yeah. makes you one of one of the greatest fake guitar players oh. in the world. JD feels the opposite. I'm sure. I, I think <laughs> I have played an ad. Uh, I played a Bare Naked Ladies song. What was it? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. JD hated it because I was just strumming the just whole strumming. way through. <laughs> strumming <laughs> open, open strings. That's it. Yeah. I, the guitar wasn't even in tune. Well, we got to teach an open open tuning, JD, so he can he can at least oh, play great, one chord. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. One more unpopular opinion here. Dudes with beards are overdone. Mm. True. I, I mean, feel I attacked. Say, I feel attacked. Well, we all feel attacked. Yeah, and even even I, with the least prodigious beard of the three of us, <laughs> have had this beard since two thousand three or four. You that have. means you barely remember a time I never had a beard. Right, that's true. Yeah, you had the beard also since I met you, JD. No, yeah, I've had a beard, not not to this extent, but I've definitely mm-hmm. always had facial hair of some sort. Tass, you have not always had a beard. No, and I think I, I have some photos of you back in your. In our college days, maybe from the first couple of years, mm-hmm. where your yes, your face is naked. I believe you were sweeping something in that photo. Yes, that yes, photos. Yes, you yes, had yes, the yes. goggles on, and you were sweeping yes. something. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> when I do my house cleaning, <laughs> no dust in the eyes. It's a, a common thing here, where we are in the south. Put on the mask at all times, mm. not for diseases, but for allergies. We're talking allergy season here. Yeah. The allergens are penetrating. Every in indoors, every orifice, 
at all times. <laughs> I, I just took my mask off for this show. Oh my for god, you. that's amazing! So I don't I don't watch No Dunks. I just listen to it. You mean every episode I've heard you on, you've been talking through a mask? Yep. <laughs> yep, I have what? been. You and wanna... what is the beard but but a mask? It mm. is a mask. So hold on. The people are saying here that, uh, or wherever this comment comes from, there's too many beards these days. What is that? Yeah, is that like overdone? Yeah, too is that popular. Just like, overdone. It's fucked out. Yeah. It's fucked out. Well, it's just like, it's it's just that he, I think it used to be some people had beards and some people don't. Oh, most and people didn't. And what happened was, yeah. yeah, most people didn't. You were That's a true. rebel. Look at Mad Men. You know, the, the cool, younger, hipper guy. I forget his name. Rizzo? Stan? Stan? He had the beard. Mm. Don did not have a beard. Clean shaven. Because right. in the corporate world, I think it was de classe to have a beard. Because it showed you weren't um, stringent enough to wake up every morning and shave. Right. It's discipline. Discipline. Yeah, right. yeah. Like a man that makes his bed every morning. Right. After sleeping in it alone. Right. <laughs> Someone's been reading Jordan Peterson. <laughs> well, he's got some simple rules, JD. And uh, I believe we should hear the man out. Uh, Are you guys all so, reading Jordan Peterson? But is Rizzo, is Rizzo the correct uh, term? Is that, or it's not term. Is the right name from Mad Men? Rizzo? I think it is. I think his name was Stan Rizzo. Uh, I, was I, don't name? quote me on that. Oh. We can't, again, as I always say on the show, I can't Google because... <laughs> The stream will cut up. That's right. <laughs> That's why. I was just going to say, is were they ahead of their time naming Rizzo Rizzo? But I guess it's a lot oh, of like Because of Riz. A lot of people Riz. have Riz these yeah. days. Oh. Yeah. Rizma, well, but. then yes. But then again, Rizzo Greece. from Greece mm. did not have Riz. Wait. No. Rizzo was there didn't? Rizzo in Greece? Yeah, there is. But I thought Rizzo. She was a pink lady, wasn't she? Yeah. She had Riz. If you have to have Riz, if you're oh, a she pink was lady. the one with the most Riz. Actually, yeah, yeah she was the, the 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 sexually promiscuous. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, uh, okay. J- uh, St- Channing Stockard, right? Stockard yes. Channing. Stockard. Stockard Channing. Channing Stockard is a famous basketball player, I believe. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's Chandler Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> so many names. I think it's John Stockton and Channing Fry. That's it. Oh. That's it. Speaking of celebrities, happy to see Tass. Holy. Oh, come John Channing Stockton. Fry. Channing. John Stockton, no Channing Fry. I had to stop Channing. Oh. Fry. <laughs> Channing I had to stop Fry. Channing Fry in the. Uh, in the yeah, lane he didn't lane. see. Well, you John because Stockton you're so would tiny. not be happy to see you if you were wearing a mask. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, good call. Very good call. Yeah. Very, Very good, good call. call. Deep cut. You are reading. You're, you're watching Tucker Carlson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're reading Jordan Peterson, <laughs> and you're you know everything about John Stockton. Well, just hey, just in spite of uh, Tucker Carlson, Jordan Peterson. Hey, remember when you go to the polls, just Biden. <laughs> That's to the tune of just beat it. Or just beat in. Fuck, I fucked that up. God damn. Wow. wow. <laughs> just beat <in. laughs> All right. The face is weird. Okay, let's get back to the topic. The man's face is weird. Here, you know, you could have pock marks, acne, weak chin, mm. scars, cellulite. And the beard was basically a gift from the Lord that said, what if I could cover that up from you and prevent you from shaving and having those weird shaving bumps and having to buy creams and five bladed razors? You just opt out. You just get an electric trimmer mm-hmm. and that's your life now. Right. You got ac- I. You know how much acne I have right now? No, no you can't tell. You don't. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I wish you'd said no. So then I could have said that. Oh, you, sorry. You, let's retake it. Let's retake yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, do you know how much acne I have right now? No. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Nailed it. Nailed okay. it. Okay. Uh, Just beaten. <laughs> put that. Now cut the whole other part. Now put that in. Uh, people. Uh, people. Okay. So anyways. Oh, this one's for you. Feel- this one's for you. This one's for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people say you eat too many chocolate bars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That's okay. The problem with that man in that commercial was that he wasn't old enough to grow a beard. Mm. Um, it was. So is there acne there? I don't see any acne. I'm looking hard. No, there is. No, there there's is. not. You can't see it. I have a beard. <laughs> I don't know. you feel bad for women that they this is not an option for them? I mean, kind of. Bo- both usually hormonally, but also societally? Yeah, I guess. It's, it's sad. They're spending all this money on makeup and skin care, mm-hmm. facials. When if you just let your hair grow <laughs> an eighth of an inch, all your problems are solved. And mm. that's why they're so popular. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I kind of agree with this person. They are overdone, but but they're just so good. Why would I? Why <laughs> would I go back? There's no reason to go back. No, of course not. 
Of right. course, you're not. not Although I, w- I will say, if I uh, if I looked like John Hamm, I would shave every day. But I don't look. You think like John that you think he doesn't look cool with a beard? Yes, he does. So you know, fuck John Hamm. But also, <laughs> he has the option. I don't have the option. Right. I'm with you in that. People who choose to have them choose to have them because they do look better. That's why I have one. I don't look as good. I know. People look better. So why are people complaining? That's, well, that's, Tass, we always talk about you as the best looking, uh, best looking donkey. Always. That's what we talk about every day. We do. We talk about it <laughs> behind your back. He was hit by an SUV, people, and he's still the best looking of the five of them. It's not. It's not. It's that's not. Obje- that's objectively true. Right. Oh. Right. Well, we had. Okay. Gra- I hated when we had Grant Hill on our show that day. Because <laughs> he was better looking than you. Yeah. I mean, Way better. And he has a beard. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, there you go. Cool you story. Shaved that guy. I think it- <laughs> Anyways, my point is that yeah. Tass is very good looking. If he didn't have the beard, I think he'd be terrible. Pretty as a peach. But no. He no. chooses it anyway. No, actually, my wife Danielle would not choose me if I was beardless. Yeah, that's the same with me. Actually, if I shaved this off. Ooh. Rachel would be like, grow that back immediately. Yeah. Interesting. With, because, yeah. She, because she likes beards or because she thinks you look bad clean shaven? It's probably, she says it's the former, but it's probably more, more the latter. Let's be honest. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'll right, give, fair I'll, enough. I'm with you. I'll, I'll give you a photo of me shaved. I look like Kermit the Frog. Daniel, Daniel said it, <laughs> and I believe her. And uh, yeah, that's when we, that's when, the last time she probably saw me hairless. My entire body was hairless that day. <laughs> <laughs> it was 2014. You don't have time. the hairiest body. No, I don't. But I do want to wax like you do. You, you, you occasionally. Nah, I don't anymore. No, I don't anymore. I did. I did ba- wax my back maybe three times total when oh. I lived in Atlanta for uh, the summer pool season. Um, no, I, I. You know what I should have done, and I really regret not doing this, is during, not peak COVID times, but lower COVID times, I should have gotten lasered. Mm. Laser, <laughs> because that's permanent, right? Yeah, you know, that's what but, pe- yeah people do that for that reason. Um, but it was a very cool place that you were going to here in Atlanta. What was it called? Peach, uh, peach, sweet peach, sweet, sweet peach. peach. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah very awkward, shave, very awkward. Shave the sweet. They would always peach. when they sent you the email, they would always say, "Your boyfriends cannot wait inside." <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Because they didn't like the boyfriend sitting there, you know. What? Well, it's a weird thing to be sitting there and seeing every woman that walks by. You know exactly what's about to happen. To uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I. Do you though? You know. Okay. You know. Okay. Yes. There's a lot of places that can be waxed on your body, even if you're That's a woman. That's true. Yeah, but this was their specialty. Oh. That's why it was called Sweet Peach. That's why it's a peach. <laughs> why did you guys go there then? <laughs> Where else are we going to go? I don't know. <laughs> I actually went there once to get my... It was my, pre-2020. Oh, you got your ears done. My ears and my my uh, eyebrows. And would you do that again? Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, so yeah. do you do it? I do my ears myself now. Wow. Painful? I mean, I don't find it painful. I think it's very satisfying. It's a satisfying feeling. Mm-hmm. It's better but than plucking. That, I feel like pl- plucking. I hate like no. Well, also, if you have too much hair, plucking is. It's t- yeah. It's like picking up sand on a beach, you know. Right. <laughs> exactly. All right, <laughs> uh, Tass. There's only one thing left to do. It's time for subjective trivia. <laughs> Objective trivia, it's just like regular trivia, except only I know the answer. And this question is based on a question that I did not ask you in this show. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Basically, uh, you know, you know Wendy's? Oh, do I know Wendy's? Yeah. Do you like Wendy's? <laughs> yeah. Um I did, did I, you seriously went, I was have experience with Wendy's? Do I have experience? Yeah, oh you do? Yeah, like do you go because some people are like, yeah, I'll never go to Wendy's. Of course. Dave Thomas, I love that guy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm in. Interesting. That's pretty sexist. It's named after Wendy, but the person you cite is, is Dave Thomas. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, well see. Her the... very father? Is <laughs> was he father? actually? No, he is the president of the company. No. Dave Thomas? Dave? Isn't it Wendy Thomas? 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is I don't it not, think so. Really? You sexist asshole. You, you only know her as Wendy, and you just assume that she's Wendy Thomas? You, you're saying Dave Thomas did not found Wendy's? Yeah, well, maybe. So you know what? You're telling me Ronald McDonald didn't start <laughs> McDonald's? Why is his last name McDonald, then? Anyways. Either way, Wendy's great. We say her. Okay, Wendy's is great. Let's talk okay, about... Great. No, Wendy is great. I like Wendy, the person. The, as a name. Yes, uh, the you person. Know, Wendy was not a name before... <laughs> What's the movie I'm thinking of, J.D.? <laughs> uh, Peter Pan? Thank you, Peter Pan. Oh. Uh, by the way, I you, your Google isn't working, but mine is. <laughs> Dave Thomas, Rex Dave Thomas... Was the founder and chief executive officer for Wendy's. So he did found okay. Wendy's. So Wendy's is his, Wendy is his daughter. <laughs> Look that up. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. Children. That was why. He looked at Wendy and you're he right. said. Yeah, you're Get. right. This world is sexist. Because I knew about Dave Thomas finding Wendy's, but I didn't know that she was his daughter. Well, I guess, well, you know, I take it back. It it's not sexist because Wendy didn't do shit. Yeah, she right. did nothing. She was just existed. She, yeah, but come on. She just sat there with her ginger hair and, and said, praise me, everyone. Put me on every store. <laughs> I Aren't want the burgers pretty? to be square, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy was a real bitch, if you ask me. Just, Wendy's could be where McDonald's is now if, they, if their burgers were <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah. But Wendy would not have it. Mm. She also insisted on the baked potato. They said, what about fries? She said, no. <laughs> baked potatoes, Daddy. Uh, I, do, I do like a fully loaded baked potato, though. So have, thank you for that, Wendy. They have lots Anyways, of fries. They do have fries, yeah. They do have fries. Tess, I was just making a joke. Oh, I just didn't oh, get I, didn't it. I, I, joke. Just, I just don't know where I am right now. My brain doesn't work. <laughs> I, don't know where I, am right now. I have to drop off a typewriter. Okay, so the story was uh, well, I'll just read you a bit from the story. Dynamic pricing for burgers and shakes, Wendy's will give it a whirl. Maybe you are the type who enjoys biting into a warm, spicy chicken nugget from Wendy's and at $5.99 for a 10-piece in Midtown Manhattan. It's a tempting treat. Soon, you want, may want to consider what time it is before you satisfy such a craving, because the fast food chain is going to price those crispy chunks of meat and other menu items differently depending on the day. The feature will be rolled out along with digital menu boards that will reflect the price changes. The company plans to invest 30 million, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we're always focused on improving the customer and crew experience. And in that experience, we're leveraging technology in our restaurant even more, Mr. Tanner said. So, yeah, I, maybe Mr. Tanner took over from old Dave Thomas. Who's dead? We know that. He died, yeah. He died. Mm -hmm. Now, the colonel from uh, KFC is also dead, but that doesn't hasn't stopped them from iterating the colonel you know what i mean we got colonels yeah. we've had colonels for decades since the man died yes but you don't have new dave thomases no richard kind would be a good david thomas <laughs> okay <laughs> sure okay so anyways uh you know we were going to talk about dynamic pricing and you know they do it in concerts ubers and we were going to get upset about it mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but we don't need to do that Okay. Because we're past that point. Right. I just wanted you to know what inspired this okay. question. <laughs> the question is, which of these fast food mascots would I most want to have lunch with? Huh. Uh, JD, please put up the picture. Uh, so we got Ronald McDonald. You got the Colonel, Colonel Sanders. You've got Jack Box. That's um, from Jack in a Box. Mm -hmm. And if you're not watching, you know he's, he's like dressed like a businessman, but he's got a spherical giant head on with a pointy <laughs> snowman nose. And uh, the Burger King. Right. From Burger Carl's King. Jr. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, what is, he, uh, what is he called? He's called Burger King? I think he's the yeah, Burger he's King. He's the Burger King. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Now, I thought when I go to Burger King and I get that little crown I put on, I thought I was the Burger King. Right. <laughs> right. I thought it was like God. He's in all of us. But no, there is a Burger King. And he rules over his fiefdom with an iron fist. <laughs> And uh, so which of these four fast food mascots would I most want to have lunch with? Ronald McDonald, Colonel Sanders, Jack Box, or the Burger King? Tass, what do you think? Where's your, where's your brain going? Well, yeah. Um... Left Wendy off, by the way. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Now... Bit of a, bit of a tire. Now who's sexist? <laughs> well, I left it off because I was going to say, we just talked about Wendy's. So Wendy aside. Right. Okay. 
Because you know I'd pick Wendy because we both have red hair. Yeah. Well, so We've does probably both been called fire crotch at some point in our lives. So does Not Ronald McDonald, and peach. so does the <laughs> and so does the Burger oh, what King. What the fuck is going on here? What in the name of Ed Sheeran is happening? Why are all our fast food mascots red haired? I think that the the Colonel could be red haired too. Um, well, back he's in famously white haired. Uh, well, I know, but I mean, back in the day. Okay, Google. Did the Colonel have red hair? <laughs> Jackbox yeah. has no hair. No, he's got no hair. Yeah, he's well, got no hair. Is that a big, a big positive for you? In that he has no hair, he has a, a mask on. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't talk to you. I don't think he's allowed to talk. Right. So do you? I think want... Jackbox does talk. Are you talking about the Burger King or Jackbox? No, Jackbox Jack. does talk. Yeah, Burger King. Same Jackbox thing. is basically like the founder and CEO, but with the spherical white head. Well, super creepy then. If he is always talking with that spherical head, you're not having mm-hmm. lunch with that guy. Yeah. That, that's too weird. Right. Mm-hmm. Burger King, I mm-hmm. guess, doesn't talk. The bur- I mean, the Burger one, King. Growing up, the commercials, Burger King was a real guy, like Ronald yeah. McDonald. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, and he would mm-hmm. twist his his ring. Do you remember that? No. I no. Yeah. He would hold his ring. Oh, don't don't a real patronize me. Creeper. Yeah, he would twist his ring, and you would f- appear at Burger King. Everybody would explode and you Wow. Yeah. Never heard of such a thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Who was it? The fucking prestige? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Ronald McDonald. That's also the photo that you guys selected. That's a great one because he looks. He's in of, your face. Kind of creepy. Yeah. He's, he's a That's little true. angry. He's, he's doing the I want you to join the army. He's doing the Uncle Sam. <laughs> a little bit okay well Tass I'm gonna, I tell it, you you said no to Jackbox and I'm gonna tell you that's correct yeah I okay. saw it I saw it in your face okay. you agreed with me I agree with um, you now let's get and you said no to the Burger King no Burger King no Ronald that's McDonald correct, yeah. I think Colonel Sanders got a lot of things to share mm. now are okay. we talking about the original or are we talking about <laughs> the original second, recipe <laughs> no the original man who yes made a great recipe uh, here oh in, what a recipe what what in uh is it is it Kirby, Kentucky is the first one? Something something real Whoa. close. It's, oh, Tess, you say you have no memory. Come on. Yeah, I know. I've been to that one, actually. It, creepy. Also Are you creepy. saying Kirby because it's the K in KFC? That stands for no, Kentucky? No, I mean, it's very similar. It's, I thought it was like a K-I-R-B-Y. I could be wrong. It's something. No. It's, it's, JD? Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. Um, no, no, I mean, can you Google that? <laughs> I'm Googling it. I can't find it. You know, you can't find where the first KFC is? Well, was? I'm looking at uh, the it is. It still exists. It's still there should be um all right, all right. i could be wrong but i might be five letter town small town jd do you agree with this and you go there actually you go there you sit on a bench and there is a sort of like a you know a sculpture statue of colonel sanders that you kind of have lunch with as as we're oh, talking about here <clears throat> super okay. interesting so i'm going with colonel sanders who actually the original actually for a time in his life lived close to me yeah, in, he was living in Canada, wasn't he? And he's living in Mississauga, Ontario, yeah. Canada, like up the road from where I used to live for some odd reason. Oh, wait a second. The Yes, the original. Actual, the one the one from Kentucky yeah, moved he, to Canada? He was in Canada in the 80s, I don't yeah. know, 90s. I That's don't know. That's crazy to me because he's well, he such, died such an in, indelibly American character. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he. I don't uh, know why he was in Canada. Yeah, I remember. I, I, that. I do. I love my country, <laughs> but uh, uh, socialized medicine. I do feel it is the way. Uh, <laughs> you, you said there's many iterations of Colonel Sanders. As in, as in what does that mean? Well, Norm Macdonald played him. Oh, okay. Uh, Reba McIntyre played him. Right, Rob yeah. Riggle oh, plays him. About, like yeah. we, we always get a new Colonel. Oh, I thought we were talking. He's like. About. Uh, Aunt Viv on Fresh Prince, you know. <laughs> we, aunt. We got it's Aunt. No. <laughs> no. Well, Colonel Sanders in America, he would say Aunt Viv, but then when he moved to Canada, he said Aunt Viv. Oh. Um, have you seen the uh, the the, uh, the Fresh Prince reunion? Oh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, yeah. Why would you say Aunt in America? Why would you say Aunt? What do you say in? Am- I don't know. I'm we so say fucked aunt. up with what what to say in America. In America, we say Aunt. No, we say Aunt. Aunt's yeah. the Brits. No, Aunt. What the, well, who says aunt? 
Uh, Southern people definitely say it. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it is on. I oh. think it. Okay. Anyways, anyways, JD, 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 Colonel, the... am I having lunch with fucking Colonel Sanders or not? <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm with Tass 100. Uh, percent You have the Canadian connection. You love an avuncular <laughs> Which... gentleman. Uh-huh. Uh, may I call you Harland, sir? Is what you would say, and then you'd be off and running. The one question I was wondering is, would you have to eat in their restaurant? Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's not part of the calculus. Okay, that's not part of it. Well, anyways. I'm taking him out, I'm taking him out for a salad. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm saying uh, Colonel Harland Sanders as well. What a okay. name. What a great okay. name. Now, I told you no. I said no to the Jackbox because he's too creepy and, like, American psycho-y. Mm-hmm. And I said no to the Burger King, too creepy. <sighs> Ronald McDonald, I hate to say it, Tass. What? But a, li- a little bit of Ewing theory here. Am I right? Okay. Because he's the worst of the McDonald's characters. Yeah, that's true. You got a Hamburglar. You got a, a, Mr. a Mayor McCheese. You got uh, a Grimace. I don't know if Grimace is better. Birdie. Th- these are all great characters. Right. Ronald is actually the captain of the team, but he's the worst one. Right. So he's out, and you are both right, Tess. Yes. The answer yes. is Colonel Sanders. Oh, thank you so much. See ya, weirdos. <laughs> Provided he's not... <laughs> Weird and old and racist. Because, you know, he kind of looks like he could be. But I, I don't think he is. Because remember the, when Papa John... Um, <laughs> Papa, by the way, Papa, Papa John, John, not on this list. <laughs> <laughs> old Papa John. Well, I, do you, uh, hold on. He said something racist, and then yeah. I think he like tried to slough it. I was like, well, Colonel Sanders is... And, and then the estate of Colonel Sanders was like, no. Colonel Sanders was a good man. Mm-hmm. So if he was, then yeah I, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think we'd have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Do would you? Can you consider now that Shaq is sort of the spokesperson for Papa John's? Is he like a rest fast food restaurant mascot now? No. Well, why not? Because spokesperson and ma- <sighs> is a dividing. Because he also owns Krispy Kreme, so I, uh, I don't true. think he's the Krispy Kreme mascot. Well, yeah, I haven't really seen. A is Krispy is he Kreme. the gold bond medicated powder mascot? <laughs> He's the general, ma- ma- Well, I guess the general is the general. The general is the general. You see, there yeah. you go. You, you yeah. just backed into a great point. <laughs> well, that's how I love to do everything, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end it there. Wow. Way to come back to that. Tassie, uh, tell people where they can find you. You can find me in Corbin. You can find me in Corbin, <laughs> Kentucky. Oh, is that right? I was wrong. I was uh, wrong. Corbin. It wasn't Kirby. It was Corbin. Hey, yeah, the, Corbin yeah. with a K yeah. or a C? A C. Ah. <sighs> up with that too bad yeah it's, it sounds pretty close to kirby though or kirby yeah, yeah it does it does corbin is located south of north corbin which is <laughs> i think where it was actually found but anyways okay if you're if you're looking for a kfc that one is good um it's tasty <laughs> super tasty i'm pretty hungry right now people can find me wherever they get their pods wherever they mm-hmm. look on their uh their googles because you should search for YouTube where we do our daily show. Yes. No Ducks is where you can find me. That's all I do okay. right now. As as we said at the beginning of the show, I'm a pretty sad man. I balance things. Um, I, uh, I play a guitar, but I don't really play a guitar. I, yeah. I purchased a, a digital piano during the pandemic because oh, yeah. I wanted to play that better. <laughs> Don't play that all that well. Um, Your kids are I, using it at least. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Have it's you cool. Been... The kids suck because... Quite often, quite often, they're tiny fingers. <laughs> no, they don't suck at playing the piano. They're actually good at playing the piano, but to learn it, they often they, they have this color code instructor mm. that puts literally colored stickers on the piano. Right. I don't like touching that when nah. I play the piano. That's doesn't, your piano, buddy. Doesn't you, feel good. Yeah. They shouldn't ruin it with adhesives. Yeah, kids ruin everything. That's true. Yeah. Kids ruin their parents, but. Um, <laughs> Kids, are they good? Great question. Heard it here cool. first. That's a no. full episode. Really good question. <laughs> no. I would love to do that as an episode, actually. If, if we could get... I would need someone that, would, that really, truly regretted having kids to come on the show. Oh, okay. Who's that person going to be? <clears throat> it depends on the day, because sometimes it's me. I know, for but sure. I know. I know. <laughs> Check us out, Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash is this good. Subscribe to is this good wherever you listen to podcasts. I could always use some good emails at isthisgoodpod at gmail.com. And you can always rate us on Apple Podcasts. And, of course, subscribe on YouTube because J.D. puts a lot of work into these videos. Okay? Well, well it's important. Yeah. Rachel right. does a lot, too. Rachel, too. Yeah, Rachel, too. 
<laughs> just saying. <laughs> Wouldn't deny that. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks to Tassie for coming on. Tassie, worth the wait, I would say. How do you feel? Absolutely. I'm glad I waited 5.5 <laughs> months for this. It was, it's been a long time coming. It's fun to be on the show, Tassie. Come on. Freaking right. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm happy. No, I, I, I wish it came earlier. That's a, That was the negativity in my voice. Yeah, when, next time I want you, I don't want to wait for you to ask me. I want you to text me so that I won't text you back and you'll see how it feels. I didn't ask you at all. <laughs> no. uh, that's what I'm saying. I want you to ask me next time. Oh, that's what I want what you to be so said. excited that you my can ears, ask me. My ears aren't good. Yeah, my know, senses are gone. Big, I will be a excited. Digital hug, Thank and you. Uh, I, just I just want to go past the hour mark because I know you hate long shows. No, we're past. We're, we're like seventy-three minutes. Gosh, it is. It almost feels silly. Like you're doing so well. I know in your head you're not fine, and well, I totally I'm doing understand well. that. I'm doing well. Thank but you. But you're doing so that it almost feels weird for me to refer, like, to be like, oh, I'm right. so happy you're doing because it's like you've been doing well for so long that it almost feels weird. To bring it up, but then again, I did bring it up at the start of the show for a long time, so that <laughs> yeah, was yeah. That's on me. Well, I was concerned. I didn't know what we were going to get into, how deep it was going to go, about my issues. Did you we think it was going to go the... deeper? Well, good. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll save it for next no, time. No, that was, that was a good amount. Next time. That was a good amount of uh, depth, yeah. because it could go yeah way deeper, and it will one day, because I'm furious inside. I didn't want to be hit by a car. <laughs> no, 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 but it is. Yeah, it no, was interesting. No one wants that. It was no an interesting time. I'm going to the doctor really soon, so I should get going. (laughs) Well, as we peter out here, thanks in advance for leaving a five-star review. For everyone, I'm Matt Austin, and this was good. We'll see you next week, and remember, just Biden (laughs) to the tune of Just Beat It by Michael Jackson, a man unimpeachable that everyone loves. (laughs) 